what's up guys welcome back to another video it's Faith Martini here and today I'm gonna to be sharing with you 10 ways that you can prioritize self-care as a single mom in 2020 now if you're anything like me I mean you know you already know that self-care is important to you but sometimes you don't have the time to do it or you just don't have the money to really really splurge on in yourself like you actually want to but in this video I'm actually going to be sharing with you some of the ways that you can still be able to uh, prioritize self-care while maintaining your budget and not losing your mind stressing over how you're gonna actually make it happen guys is now tip number one is to make exercise a priority i mean i don't need to tell you you already know that working out is beneficial to you um it not only does it promote a healthy weight and um physical well-being um it also kind of helps with stress which is something that you deal with a lot as a mom uh, but sometimes it's just not easy to actually get it in so when it comes to working out there are two alternatives that you can take um you can take on to still get that um, 30 to an hour workout in during the day. One thing that you can do is if you have a gym membership, you can definitely inquire to see if your gym actually offers a daycare service. I know that there are some gyms that actually offer this. Um, I have 24 hour fitness and they do offer a daycare service where you can leave your baby with them for at least two hours. And I think it's like $20 a a child but you might have to check in with them to see the exact price now that's one thing that you can do um, is if you have a gym membership and you want to go to the gym uh, which is something that I really like to do if you want to go to the gym and still be able to work out there then you can definitely use the daycare service that your gym offers and still work out now the other option is if you don't necessarily have a gym membership or you don't have the money to spend on a gym membership you can also um, just work out from home. It's so easy to do so. Nowadays, there are so many different programs on YouTube, online. You can buy CDs uh, that you can just, you know, put on your telly and you can be able to work out at any time during the day, you know, whenever, whatever actually works for you. All you need to get is just a mat. Um, if you want to do strength exercises, you can just get um, some weights and you can work out from home. And, you know, you can do it at any time during the day when your kids go to sleep or when you wake up in the morning. And, you know, that this way you still get a good workout in. Um, I actually have a... I live in an apartment where we actually have a gym inside, which is really awesome. It's so convenient. Um, I can just go in there at any time and get my workout in without, you know, worrying about the cost and, you know, worrying about babysitting uh, because I can have my, you know, my family kind of help me with watching my kids. But yeah, those are the, some of the ways that you can prioritize working out um, and, you know, making sure that you're still incorporating that into your life because it's really important for you to get that physical exercise um, so that you can be in your best shape for your babies. Second way to prioritize um, self-care is to meal prep. Um, I have talked about meal prep for quite some time in almost all my videos. Um, I just really, really like um, the practice of meal prepping. It's really beneficial to you um, because it, it really helps with time management. Um, as a busy mom, you definitely want to make sure that you have food handy when you get hungry or when you're kids get hungry that way when that time comes for you to eat you're not struggling to find something you already something you have you already have food on hand that you can be able to just eat or just warm up and eat um instead of worrying about cooking like um i know for me like there are times when i get so overwhelmed and so busy that i don't have enough time to cook or i don't have enough time to actually like prepare something that i need to eat and so um, in those times, it can be so easy to just reach for uh, reach for junk food or go order some food that I don't really need to eat. Um, but when I actually am prepared and I have meals ready, all I have to do is just warm them up and I'm all set, ready to go. Um, I am not stressing over what I'm going to eat. 
I'm not stressing over what my kids are going to eat. So I would really encourage you to meal prep if you're not already doing that. Now guys, the, that way that you can prioritize self-care in 2020 is by pampering yourself at home. Um, gosh, I, I know like, I just want to go to a spa and just get a nice massage, get my nails done, get my hair done, get all the glitz and glamour. Um, but of course on my single motherhood budget, I can't really afford to do those things. But there's still some things that I can do at home to still make sure that I, you know, feel good or that I'm relaxed. And one of those ways is to just create some, a spa-like feel in your own bathroom. Um, it's so easy to do. You just have to buy some candles, um, you know, turn the lights down and light some candles in your place. And you can be able to still create that ambience. Side note, guys, my boys are here, so you might hear you know noises and and coughing that's just that's just them <laughs> but yeah you can um you know create a, a spa like ambience and feel in your own bathroom without spending that much money um and still be able to you know feel relaxed in your own home without having to go anywhere else um so definitely look into those ways that you can be able to create that whatever it is that you enjoy or that you feel like you need in a spa whether it's relaxing music or um just uh just a really nice quiet environment then definitely create that in your own home so that you can be able to still you know get that and um take care of yourself while you're in your own um house now when it comes to like things like nails you can you know buy nail polish for a really inexpensive price and be able to do your own nails at home um you can also purchase uh, uh masks if you like to do facials but you can't really go um get those done you can purchase some ma masks and do your own i guess facial at home uh without having to spend that much money so that's another way that you can prioritize this is look for ways that you can be able to pamper yourself in your own home without spending too much money number four is to create a daily skincare routine um look for products that help you with um, taking care of your skin you can research the best products that work with your skin type so that you can make sure that you're providing um your skin the best chance to thrive <laughs> um i would really really recommend that you kind of develop a routine that allows you to um either wash your face in the morning when you wake up and um apply serums that will help your skin be more rejuvenated um i also like to use a toner because it really helps with um uh, removing any residue that may be left over after you clean your face um, so definitely look into incorporating those products in the evening I always want to make sure that I take off my makeup before I go to sleep um, that way I'm allowing my skin a chance to actually breathe um, and to you know get better through the night so uh, definitely look for um, different products that will work for your skin type and incorporate this into your daily routine to help you um, have better skin that you will be really proud of showing off number five um is to do something that you enjoy um gosh before you were a mom before you had those babies in your life you used to be a human with hobbies and passions and sometimes when you become a mom you kind of forget those passions and hobbies and you know your focus becomes more about your children so I definitely would encourage you to go back to the hobbies that you used to enjoy doing or even find new ones that you can take on as a mom. Um, I know for me, like before I became a mom, I used to really enjoy working out. Like I would go to the gym and I would spend hours there just working out because it made me feel so good. Uh, but now that I'm a mom, I can't really devote that much time into working out. Um, so I have had to find ways to still simulate my, my desires and my passions, um, other than, you know, going to the gym. And one of the biggest things that I've been doing is YouTube. Like I love doing YouTube and doing it is just, it, it just kind of helps me explore my passions and I really, really love and enjoy the process that it takes to actually create a video. Um, and I just, I've been really, really getting into that and I love it so much. So 
that is one of the hobbies, I guess, that I've been able to get into as a mom that has really, really helped me to still feel like I'm a human. Like, aside from my kids, that I still have things that I enjoy, that I love to do. Another thing that I haven't been doing as much, but is my priority for 2020, is to actually read more. I have a bunch of books here that I have not been reading, uh, that I'm going to be starting to read in 2020. And I'm going to do this, I'm going to prioritize this even more. Um, but doing those things that you love, those things that just make you happy, um, it really helps you be a better mom. Um, even more so, you are more likely to encourage that in your kids. To encourage them to pursue their hobbies and skills when you are you know excited about your own hobbies and skills so definitely look for things that you can get um, excited about things that make you happy that you enjoy doing and start doing those more often number six guys is to invest in yourself um, find ways to invest in yourself either uh, for personal reasons or um, on your career goals um, investing in yourself is really important especially if you have career goals and you want to be able to provide more for your family um, you definitely would benefit from finding ways that can help you to be better um, in different areas in different skills um, invest in courses that will help you you know if you're looking to um, do something with your career with your um, business find a course that can help you to learn more skills that you need that can be able to assist you to become a better version of yourself in that area um attend co attend conferences you know where you know you'll be able to network with other uh people in your industry who can be able to um kind of help you propel you into um a new area that you're trying to get into but definitely find ways to invest in yourself um for personal ways you can invest in yourself by reading you can invest in yourself by networking with other uh, moms that are you know you know also going through this journey with you and that will help you be a better mom because you're exposed to different experiences exposed to different people um but I would highly recommend that it's one of the biggest things that you can do for yourself, um, especially if you have ambitions to, you know, provide more for your family. Um, definitely get in the habit of looking for ways that you can be able to uh, uh, better your career um, so that you can be able to start making more money. Um, that way, you know, you know that you're going to be set to provide for your kids without any worries um, as a single mom. Number seven is to budget and save for self-care. Um, gosh, I know, you know, there's so many things that sometimes you want to do, but you feel like you never have enough money to do them. Now, one day, one way that you can prevent, you know, not having enough money is, of course, making more money, but also just actually budgeting for self-care. So, uh, set in your budget um, a, a category for just you, and you can call it me, uh, me money. <laughs> um, and every time that you get paid, devote a certain amount of money towards that, um, toward, towards that category, and use that for you. Use that for things that you enjoy, whether it's paying for that conference that you want to go to, paying for that course that you know will benefit you, uh, buying ha hair, makeup. Uh, bags clothes it's definitely beneficial to actually budget for it and save that way you're not spending money that you don't have um, or you're not uh, stressed because you used money that you were supposed to use for something else on yourself um, so it's really important to just budget it and, and put it in place so that you actually know this is just gonna be money for me um, and I also find that instead of buying junk food or whatnot, you can put that money aside and use it for your benefit. That way, you know, you're not using it for things that you don't need. You're actually using it for things that will make you happier. Number eight is to dress up more often. Gosh, there's just something about looking good, you know, having your makeup right, having your outfit set, you know, like your nails done, your hair done, smelling good. That just gives you confidence. It just makes you, you kind of, you kind of walk a little different when, when you have it all together, you know, you actually want to go to more places when you have it all together. Um, 
I know, gosh, the last two years, I have spent most of my time in leggings, <laughs> no makeup, hair not done, just like looking as shabby as possible because I was just struggling trying to survive this thing called motherhood. My baby's crying. Um, but... But... One moment. But when I actually take the time to look good, I feel so good. You know, like it's like, I just feel like I actually want to go to a few places, visit some old friends, just so they can see how good I look, you know? Um, so that's something that I am pro I'm prioritizing this year is I want to, you know, take the time to look good, to work on my appearance, you know, working out, buying clothes that, you know, make me look good and flatter my figure, um, putting on makeup and just all around looking like a woman who's got, you know, her things together. Um, and I feel like when you do that more often, gosh, you just feel good. You feel more confident. You look confident. Uh, people perceive you differently because, you know, they you seem like you kind of got it going on. Um, so definitely prioritize that. Um, I work from home, so I don't have that many excuses to get dressed up. But I am going to try to find ways to still get dressed up and still look nice. Um, and just, you know, make sure that I am putting myself forward in the sense that I'm, I'm putting my best self forward when I interact with others and whatnot. So definitely want to encourage you to do that more in 20. Number nine is to take care of your emotional and mental health. Oh my goodness, motherhood is stressful. It's overwhelming. Even more single motherhood, it's just it's it's really it can be a lot sometimes it can be very overbearing and it can be overbearing on your emotions um on your mental health and sometimes you know we just are so busy taking care of your of our kids that we don't really take the time to evaluate how we are feeling so i encourage you to take the time daily to just evaluate how you are how are you feeling as a mom do you feel like you're doing this well i mean even despite how you feel you're still doing good your kids are alive that's that's huge um you're still doing good but um it's good to just evaluate your emotions to see how you are i know that you know you know as you become a single mom or like you know being a single mom you might you know have feelings where of you know loneliness or sadness or just, you're just overwhelmed and if you don't deal with those feelings they can really take over your life and take over your mental health so definitely take the time to uh, evaluate yourself um you can you journal um and that will help you put your thoughts down into paper um meditate do yoga do things that will help you become more self-aware um ask yourself how you're feeling do throughout the day are you are you good is your emotion good do you feel like you 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 know you're you're doing well because you want to feel like you're doing well um as a mom um despite how how much you know you might feel like you're kind of messing up um definitely take the time to 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 evaluate that side of you because it's lastly is to just schedule time for yourself um gosh make it a priority to make to put you first um i know it, it, it can be so easy to just forget about you um when you're just thinking about everything else everyone else uh, sometimes you just forget that you also need to take the time to to make sure that you're good so schedule that put that in your schedule um, as you're planning, um, you know, your day's um, events, as you're planning your week events, make sure that you actually include their me time. That way you can be able to uh, prioritize the, the um, events that you want to take place in at that time. Um, if you want to make sure that you, you know, um, read that book you've been wanting to read, if you want to, you know, take a bath and whatnot, like schedule that. Um, that way it becomes a priority and becomes something that you actually need to get done. But just make sure that you're scheduling and that you're putting yourself first because it's it's really important for you to prioritize you. That way you can be the best version of yourself that your kids get. 
but that's it for my tips guys i hope that i was able to give you some new ways that you can be able to uh, prioritize self-care in 2020 and hopefully this will not break the bank uh, you can still have some money and still look good take care of yourself um i do have a blog post on this as well so definitely check that out and let me know what you think guys i would love to know your comments down below let me know how do you prioritize self-care in your life Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll be seeing you on the next one.